Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with Blaze in Corp. We are taking some time out of uh, a busy renovation schedule uh, here to get a whole bunch of craziness done. We're going to start off with uh, the Oregon Tribes uh, here. We are going to be building out some other champions. I do want to build out uh, Ugo, uh, whoever this guy is, uh, Eurogram uh, here. We're going to build those two out, maybe even build out Killjoy for the bombs. I don't know. Uh, there we shall see. But yeah, Ugo is most likely going to take the place of Gear Grinder uh, here in our hierarchy and uh, hopefully make this a little bit faster. right so um yeah you know we've done this stuff before you know main thing here is just uh, getting through the content making these guys as uh, beefy as possible in terms of the health lots of uh, defense uh, and then you know if we can get someone who's going to do a crap ton of damage and great uh, but there's not really anyone crazy you know high in the damage output uh, at least that I have uh, in the Oregon tribes, or at least that I'm willing to build, I should say. Yeah, right here, because I love to build my defensive champions, and it doesn't seem to be a really good one uh, here on that end. Um, yeah, fun times, fun times. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot today. Right here, that is for sure. Right here, uh, after the Oregon Tribes, we're gonna do one of the Sacred Order. Um, yeah, might even pull some shards. Yeah, probably gonna pull some shards. Right uh, here, we've got the uh, got the event going on, so kind of excited about that. Right there, because uh, Archbishop is rolling in. But yeah, um, you know, back to this. Um, yeah, I think uh, Bellower is going to be probably the best champ you can bring in here in terms of like rares. You know, it's just that AOE damage, you know, lots of debuffs. Uh, you just can't go wrong here with him. He doesn't even have to be like ridiculously powerful, just make him you know, tanky and. You know, with the team we put together, it's very defensive based. So we can take some hits and, uh, you know, there aren't any crazy healers in the faction wars. So don't have to worry. We can do a slow damage over time type setup and uh, be okay. So I'm happy about that uh, there on this end. And then when we get to the boss, same kind of strategy. Just uh, pickups if we need to. Otherwise, uh, just slow and steady wins the race. Like the, tur like the tortoise in the hair. Slow and steady. Can't go wrong there. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, it kind of sucks how long it takes. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Good job here. I believe we have a toxic set on Bellowers to get those extra chance to put poisons out. That's gonna help with the damage uh, there as well. Yeah, definitely gonna help with the damage there for sure. So we definitely have to worry, I guess we don't, yeah, we're going to have to worry about him. Uh, we are going to have to worry about, uh, what's his face here? Like, 
goodness, what's his name? Uh, cheese himself, Paragon. Yeah, if his skills are all the way down to two, then uh, we're not gonna be able to get past this part, which is gonna kind of suck. Shouldn't be though. Should not be booked out, so I'm, I'm hoping at least. We shall see though, and uh, crap man, he's slow. Like really slow, holy goodness. Man, it's too bad there's not like a four times speed on this thing. I could really use that right now. Alright, come on. Oh no, he just took his whole, ah jeez, goodness. Just took his whole turn meter there. Goodness. Sometimes you wish they could read like what kind of buffs they have out. Oh my gosh. I might have to manual this crap. Yeah, I might have to manual this. Hold on here. Yeah, we're gonna have to manual this here. A1's galore here. Yeah, he just keeps stealing his, uh... Uh, Brian, I do not have that offer, but, um, I'm more than happy to help you build out what champions are here. Feel free. Uh, here, tell me what, which, uh, faction... Wars crypt you're having issues with, and uh, we'll give it a gander uh, here. Most likely, whatever faction Wars crypt you're having issues with, I've already got a video for it. Most likely, uh, here. So, um, but yeah, who are you having? Uh, which one are you having trouble with? And then, uh, yeah, once you tell me which one you're having trouble with, uh, which champions do you have in that particular faction? Yeah, the only faction right now that I haven't done would be, uh, my goodness, Shadowkin. I haven't gotten three stars in the final boss yet. Uh, Kronoru keeps dying on me. Her health is so low. So I'm gonna probably have to build out uh, Mazumoto or uh, I guess the new guy, uh, whatever that, Fox Hunter. Give him a ton of health and call it a day. Get that thing done. Get another, uh, get another Sacred Shard, which would be nice. And then I guess we'll wait for the final two factions to be unveiled. But yeah, this is a slow burn. This is the slow burn of slow burns here. But yeah, never really gonna be in trouble. Ah, no worries, no worries. Uh, there, um, but all good. Um, but yeah, whatever um, one you're having trouble with, just let me know. More than happy to help. Yeah, here, as you know, I've beaten it already, so I can most likely go through, help you with building whatever champion you need to build and how to build them. But yeah, like the, the basics is just going to be build them tanky, high health, high defense, uh, if you need to, high resistance uh, there while still trying to get everything accomplished. If you can't do that, then... Um, you know, just get through the content, pull your perception gear, and then put that perception gear you're pulling onto the champions that you're having problems with. Perception gear is, you know, for the free to play or, you know, low spender, the best gear in the game. I'd say after that, closely followed by speed, and then you can get, uh, then you can get iffy on everything else. Well, Oregon Tribes, you can see here, like I've got uh, 
I got no legendaries. Yeah, no legendaries. I uh, hear that I'm working with. I uh, hear so a uh, gear grinder was my. Uh, like you've got to have a gear grinder. If you don't, just keep pulling your mystery shards. Uh, there you'll get them eventually. Or or Eurogrim. No, not Eurogrim. Uh, Ugo. Uh, there, those are going to be the uh, the revivers for this particular uh, set. So you would do, you know, high high defense, high health, a ridiculous amount of speed. Like you're going to need 240 speed, uh, 230 at least, but 240 is really where I like to have my revivers. Um, and then uh, if you can, high high resistance, and you'll be rocking and rolling for your reviver. Uh, you know. I know I have a man eater here, but uh, you should be able should be able to do it with um, you know get bellower. Bellowers are rare, so pretty easy to get. Uh, there you could probably even do two bellowers instead of a man eater if you don't have him. Uh, and uh, bellower just put on like a, a set that you can you know, get extra damage out with. So whether it's um, you know, a toxic set, you can put a perception set on him as well. If you want, if you're on. Ah, so who are you running with uh, there? That's the question. So who is your current team? Well, it looks like you've identified your own problem there, my friend. Uh, if you've got four Legos, um, and uh, none of them built out, I'm assuming that means they're not six star and uh, probably don't have the masteries on them. Just so you know, everyone that you're looking at here is probably has full masteries. Yeah, probably has full masteries or at least like half of their masteries done, but most likely all their masteries are done. It does make a huge difference to have the masteries done. And I hear it adds a ridiculous amount of buffs uh, to your champions. And gives them some good utility as well. All right, oh, that was one of the longer times uh, there. But yeah, let's, uh, you can take a look at this, uh, this team here. What do we got? Uh, 200 speed on our, like, damage dealer, but look at that. That's where we want to be, that 50,000 and above. Um, if you're going to have low defense, you know, 50,000 so they can take a hit. Um, 200 speed. Uh, not a good crit rate here. So not the best gear on this guy, but uh, you know the gear to get the job done because he's uh, AOE all the time. So he's going to get a lot of chances to crit. Uh, let's see. So he's going to have that extra accuracy because that's what he needs. He's got a lot of accuracy on it in his build. Now this doesn't, you know, this kind of goes for your uh, every champion. You want to build them pretty decently. Uh, he's more and guy, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. We didn't really want high accuracy or resistance, but uh, you know, we wanted the speed. Wanted uh, he could use a rebuild. I can say that, but with his speed, like he's gonna kind of outspeed most people. He puts the non, um, puts the unkillable on, so you don't really need to have like crazy stats on him. Pod beast feeder for shields. Uh, you know, pretty beefy shields. Uh, good defense, good speed, uh, good accuracy, decent resistance. You know, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, it does the job. Basically, you want this on, and he's not. Uh, and you want this on, so increase accuracy. Uh, here, and increase speed. That's gonna help. And then he's constantly healing. Oh yeah, which Legos are you working with, my friend? 
uh, Skull Crusher for the uh, ally protection and counter attack. And then uh, he throws at a heal reduction every once in a while. But uh, ridiculous defense, you know, high, def high HP. A uh, decent amount of speed. That's more of a clan boss speed, but I don't use them anymore. Well, I can see your problem right there with two man eaters, Ignatius, Yopram, and Bellower. You don't have a. Uh... Yeah, you don't have a healer. So you either need a healer or you need a uh, reviver. One of the two. So if you have gear grinder, get him, get him fired up. If you have Ugo, get her fired up. Put her in for one of your man eaters. You don't need two man eaters in this setup. Ignatius is gonna do your damage. So is Eurogram Bellower. Basically, I have three damage dealers uh, there. Uh, man eaters gonna make sure that you know those like killer blows at the end uh, don't become a thing. You don't have to do anything with your man eaters. Just take one of them out and put in a put in a reviver. Gear grinder for the longest time was my only reviver. So revives dead ally 50% plus turn meter. Uh, there heals allies. Just make them super fast. That's all. You don't have to do a thing with your man eaters. Your man eaters will make it through because they're unkillable. Or at least one of your man eaters. Just put your fastest man eater in there and call it a day. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, because you have three damage, dude. It should be fine. Well, if you want to finish uh, Oregon Travis, just build her immediately uh, there and call it a day. Then you'll finish Oregon Travis. Build her nice and tanky. Like literally the exact same stats you see here. No, high resistance. Uh, I can't remember if she needs uh, you know, high HP, high defense. More speed if you can get her. If you can get her more speed, then even better. Uh, let's see what she has, though. Uh, so, uh, plus she places a leech. Oh, that's amazing. So, um, you would do... I guess you could do a decent amount of accuracy... She puts defense, uh, block buffs. Yeah, so you want accuracy. You're gonna want high health, high defense. Don't build her with any attack stats at all. So high health, high defense, high speed. Uh, no crit rate, no crit damage. Uh, if you can get resist on her, great. Otherwise, accuracy. And uh, call it a day. She's gonna have increased speed plus block damage. Uh, only when, oh well, when people are killed, so yeah, that's not going to matter. You got some crazy champions there, so yeah, you should be able to get through, but you're going to need a reviver regardless. Because the final boss uh, does, um, does the poisons and decreasing turn meter, and then true fears, so... Yeah, you're gonna need healer. Or you just have them all with high uh, resistance. So you, you, uh, you'll you figure out how you want to build it. But uh, yeah, just get a reviver in that team. You should be fine. Shouldn't have any need to build anybody else, at least for faction wars. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, so I guess soon enough we won't need, is it Light Sworn? Yeah, I think it's Light Sworn we won't need here because we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have Archbishop. Hey, here, we got that 150 shard event going on and uh, we're gonna pull that guy today. Right here, we're definitely gonna pull that guy today. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun pulling that guy. Here, I've got free to play 80 spots, so probably have to do a little bit of uh, clearing out halfway through, but it uh, should be fun, fun, fun. 
Should be fun to do that. I uh, can't wait to get him, play him. Um, you know, he looks, he's got a Hydra kit, so definitely need that there for sure. Gertup, Mossbeard, Ignatius, Draggle. Ooh, ooh, got some good guys there, man. Ignatius should be all you need to get through just in terms of uh, Ignatius and Bellower and just build the team around those guys for Faction Wars. Well, um, if your artifacts are holding you back, then you might think of it like this. Build a very good spider team here. And um, if you do that, you'll be much better off. Oh, man, I'm getting a lot of decreased turn meter here. Yeah, build a good spider team. You know, run as much spider as you can. It's going to give you a lot of money. Uh, a lot of silver and it will also give you a lot of artifacts uh, maybe set it so that like you sell off all five star artifacts uh, or if you have um, RSL helper you can like really dig in and see I want these stats only and uh, then go from there but yeah that'd probably be the best thing to do build out a spider a really fast spider team like sub two minute if you can Worst case, like sub four minute. But hey, if you got like an eight minute team, you know, is what it is. Highest level possible. As much chance of getting a six star. That's uh, that's the way I had to do it. You know, you build, you build it slowly uh, here. Cause uh, if you try to jump ahead and skip steps, then uh, you're gonna be in bad shape uh, for a long, long time. We don't want that. Uh, for you, my friend, we do not want that. Right. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so uh, Archbishop here. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this guy, actually. Uh, let's see, index, sacred order. He will be only the second, wow, only the second sacred order Lego that I have. Wow, that's insane. Huh. Okay. Uh, so attacks when enemy transfers one random debuff from this champion to the target also has a 75% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. So that's kind of cool. That's on a one. That's pretty cool. Uh, so he's going to need accuracy for sure. But luckily his a two takes care of that. So places a 50% increased accuracy buff on all allies for two turns and attacks all enemies places a 100% heal reduction buff on all enemies for two turns. Also has a 75% chance of placing a block buffs debuff on all enemies for two turns. Champions from Demon Spawn, Undead Hordes, Night Revenants cannot resist these buffs. Ooh. Well, you're you're in the grind, my friend. Uh, you are in the grind right now, so. Grinding is going to be uh, where you're at, just grinding on these levels, but um, you can build good speed with perception gear. So, yeah, go pull some. Pull some from the, uh, uh, what did it call it? The forge. Ah, uh, well, you know, you're going to have a lot of money, so. You know, pull from the forge to get some good gear from perception and uh yeah you just have to keep running spider man like i've got some some factions which i got terrible uh accessories but uh you know got good uh good gear otherwise and just make it work uh increase accuracy heal reduction block buffs Ooh, very very nice that's all in a hundred percent chance uh, yeah, that's nice. 
That's a three turn cooldown too. Ooh, that's very nice. So that should be up most of the time. Uh, heals all allies by 30% of their max HP. So that's a little tough. And place a 6% increase defense on all allies for two turns. If four more allies are alive, also place a shield buff on each ally for two turns equal to 30% of their max HP. Uh, that's not bad either. Four turn cooldown, that's good. So what are we working with? So that's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. Uh, here, removes all decrease defense debuffs and weaken debuffs from this champion at the start of each turn. So that's kind of cool as well. Uh, ooh, got really good stats. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to build with no crit rate, crit damage, but a ton of speed, lots of defense, uh, okay attack, and uh, a ridiculous amount of HP is what I'm going to build them with. And then try to get as much HP, uh, as much uh, resistance and accuracy. wonder if we can get those up into the 300s. Yeah, if we can get both of those up into the 300s, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, their accuracy in all battles by 50. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so... Well, this is exciting. This is what we save 150 shards for, so we can get, uh, you know, some of these uh, better champions here. You know what we're going to do, though, before we do that is... I want to, oh man, it's too bad they don't make this a little easier. Actually, you know what? It would be easier actually to get to here. So I'm just gonna open up some, some vault space. I think I might even be able to open up 30. That's about a thousand right there. That's a lot there. Um, yeah, man, like if you look at most of my champions, I don't have good speed gear either. Um, perception's where to go. Like I don't grind, I don't grind dragon at all. It's all perception. Like that would probably be the best way to go. Um, but up to you, of course, uh, there, but uh, now that's what I would say to you, is do perception. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess I can get rid of the champions who are already six star and fully done up. Uh, actually, can I? No, I can't. Actually, no, I shouldn't is what I should say. Get rid of some of these other ones here. Hold on. Let's see. I'm gonna get rid of some of these ones at the bottom. I know I'm not gonna use right now. Uh, get rid of these ones. Back into the vault with you guys. All right. So what do we got now? We got uh, we got a hundred. Let's see how much, uh, should be fine to get another 10 spots. Yeah, like the forge is where to go, my friend. I got 224 to pull. I will pull them one of these days. Might as well pull one right now just to see. Advanced quest. Uh, if that was a six star with speed, I would keep it. But since it isn't, goodbye. Uh, so like pieces like these. Ooh, nice. Nice job on the unkillable team, my friend. Nice job. Uh, I'm assuming you mean like man eater uh, there. Um, 
Yeah, something like this normally would be good for most people, not good for me because I want to have uh, I want to have speed as one of these stats right here. I'm basically looking for speed as one of my stats now. But yeah, this is me most days. Just uh, do my faction wars because that's going to give me the bloodstone right here. And then uh, kind of go in here and try to pull a few of these while I have the bow charms up. Uh, and just being really, really judicious here about what I'm keeping. Because a lot of these, like, uh, especially that one that was like uh, legendary, look really good, but aren't that good if you're trying to build a lot of speed. Ooh, Demithrian Warcaster, nice. I have both of those, and I never really bothered to build them out. I mean, I got the, the two time, a two for one speed team, and uh, they're good enough for me, but uh, hey man, go on with your bad self and get that block damage team going. They gotta be really fast though. That's the only drawback. But yeah, if you're struggling uh, here with finding gear, this is the best way to do it. Perception, or you can even do uh, resilience gear. Uh, it's pretty decent as well. Ooh, ooh, possibility of keeping this. Uh, I might keep it just to see if it rolls into speed. Actually, I'm going to keep it just to see if it rolls into speed. I don't see... Yeah, there's no harm. Very unlikely that I use it in the long term, but you never know. Not too bad that wasn't uh, six star there. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just set up the auto clicker to do it for me. Uh, so like auto forge. So I'll just do number of runs. I'll do something like uh, 50 runs. Now let's see if I can auto forge here. If it lets me. It's not great, so I'm gonna sell that one. Oh, Demetra doesn't need that much speed. Interesting. I'm not up to date on my my speeds for that type of unkillable team, but okay, cool. That's really really easy speed. It's a 248 speed for Warcaster and one at 74 speed for Demetra. That's not too bad. That should be pretty easy to do. Can't I put auto forge on is the question. Yeah, that's really weird. Huh. Well, that's super weird. All right, well, that's enough of that. Is enough of that. All right, so we got a hundred spots. Ooh, wow. Who would have thought? A hundred spots available. One hundred and two spots actually. But uh, I guess we'll need to clear out a little bit. I wonder if we can get those extra fifty spots. You know what? Got at least an extra ten spots would be helpful. So let's go into the vault. Let's go to the end here. Let's clear another 10 spots here for us. Ooh. Uh, no. All right, so, oh crap, let's put uh, 10 people in here. 10 people to put in, let's see. These uh, people in the middle. See, there's Warcaster. I haven't even built him out yet. And I got a bolo 
lot of people I need to put in there. All right, so 110 spots. We're gonna need to do a little bit of work uh, here, just clearing it up. But uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Wish me, wish me luck here, guys. Wish me luck. I'm hoping. Uh, well, obviously we're gonna get uh, Archbishop, but uh, really, uh, how many? Let's see what our shard pool is looking like. So we're 66 shards in uh, here to our mercy system on the. It might be a little bit more. It might be something like 70, but um, we're 66 uh, so far. And on the Ancient Shard Tracker. So if we can get a Valkyrie, oh my goodness. If we can get multiple legendaries here, we'll be very, very happy. Let's take a look and see. Fingers are crossed, toes are crossed, legs are crossed. I cross my eyes, but then that'd be really weird. Uh, there, so uh, everything's crossed here, and uh, we're gonna give this a shot. As many light, let's get some lightning here. Lightning, lightning, light, light, light. Uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if she's any good, but let's read her kit here. A Knight's Revenant. She looks cool. Oh man. Oh, she looks really cool. Just coolness factor alone, she should be good. Lego right off the bat, nice. All right, attacks on enemy, 40% booked up to 60% chance of increasing the duration of three random debuffs on a target by one turn. Wow, that's a really good A1. That is a really good A1. All right, number two. Weirding Dance. Attacks when enemy has a 100% chance when booked to place a decrease attack debuff for three turns. Also heals all allies with 15% of this champion's max HP. The heal increases by 2% for each poison debuff on the target. Also cool on a three turn cooldown, which means one of those rare champions like Iron Brago who has decreased attack up at all times. Wow. All right, pretty cool. All right, last one here, uh, I guess second to last. Uh, attacks on enemy has a also 100% chance of placing three poison debuffs and a poison sensitivity. Wow, she's kind of got it all, eh? Uh, four turn cooldown. Okay, that increases her heal here. Ooh, so it's, it's three. And that's going to be a 6% increase, which means 21% max HP heal. Really nice. Uh, increases ally accuracy in dungeons by 80%. So kind of a nothing aura, but that's okay. Decent speed. I wish that was over 100. I guess we're going to... We, if I was going to build her, which I'm probably not for the foreseeable future, but uh, if I was going to build her... I probably do her high HP, high defense, uh, high accuracy, and high resistance build. Yeah, that's probably because she's a single target kind of person. She'd need a lot of speed though. But hey, cool. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get a Valkyrie. Let's keep going. Started off strong. Let's get some lightning here. Crap, did I just pull one? Oh, okay, good. Uh, gory. Nice. I remember him. Let's see. Extra hit if target's under freeze. Heals himself. Three attacks three times. Ah, she, he does his own freezing, so that's good. 100% chance on a three turn cooldown. Uh, let's see, attacks on enemy will ignore increased defense, and shield will also ignore 50% of target's defense if they're under a freeze. That's also cool. Place a counter attack and increase attack buff on this champion for two turns if he kills an enemy. Every three turn cooldown, also not bad. 
Whoa. Cold comfort this, yeah, okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah, he's probably gonna be pretty good inside. Yeah, he's probably gonna be pretty good anywhere where they put those debuffs because of the counter attacks. So you build him for attack for sure. Okay, cool. Not a bad pull at all. All right, let's keep going. Come on, some lightning. Getting some crappy pulls here. Oh, Armina, she's pretty good. Um, got three of her now. I should build her out one of these days, but uh, she's not really needed for my account, so probably will never happen uh, here. All right, let's keep going. Come on, get some lightning, baby. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Lady Atessa. For some reason, I think she's got like a good single target nuke, from what I'm remembering. Let's keep going. Come on, lightning. All right. Anybody? Anybody? No lightning. Uh, nothing special here. They're all pretty much should be able to build up with the amount of uh threes that we're gonna have should be able to build out some five stars five star food uh, here and get uh, some more six stars so never a bad thing there get some more six stars fired up All right let's see come on get some more lightning Uh, flash chair any good? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Transferring random debuff, heals, increased duration of ally buffs. That's not bad. Axel enemies decreased duration of all enemy buffs by one, increase the duration of all enemy debuffs by one turn. Uh, I mean, if I had to, I'd use them during faction wars, but luckily I don't have to, so that's a good thing. Let's keep going. Come on, lightning. All right, not getting anyone super exciting here. All right, let's keep going. Just need that yellow lightning, baby. Come on. Well, Deacon Armstrong's pretty good uh, there. Already got one of him. I the one that I do have build out could use a, I uh, could use a update to the, uh, to his gear. Make him faster, make him a little bit better overall. But uh, as it is right now, yeah, he's fine. All right, let's keep going. Oh, oh, we're getting lightning. Are we getting lightning? Come on, give me some lightning. Give me some lightning. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, bomb champion herself here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I don't, I didn't really have a good bomb champion uh, here. So um, I'm hoping she'll be good for bomb here. here. Uh, Phil's turn meter of a random ally. Phil's turn meter of all allies. Okay, so that's good. Places. Max when enemy places two bomb debuffs that detonate after one turn. Debuff cannot be resisted, so she needs no accuracy. Boo, ya, kasha. Yes. Boo, ya. All right. Uh, let's see. Active effect exchanges remaining HP levels with target enemy, then attacks with default seal. Obviously, can't be used on bosses. I think this is going to be my Bommel killer here. Might be able to get my Bommel uh, level 50 done. Uh, get, uh, level 50 hard. 
Uh, gains an extra turn and decreases the cooldown of, of this skill by three turns if this champion's HP drops below 20% when attacked. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it'll be a five turn, go down to a two turn or less. And uh, ally speed in arena battles. Got some good stats here. That is a good pull. Thank you. I will be building her for sure. 100%. All right, let's see if we can get some more lightning, baby. Two good pulls so far. Ooh, lightning. Robar. For some reason, I think he's, is he good? Oh man, that is three light. That's three legendaries, baby. Is he good? Is he like good? Let's see. Uh, attacks on enemy, 50% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Grants an extra turn if this debuff is successfully placed. Ooh, okay, cool. Uh, attacks all enemies. Each hit has a. 75 booked up to 100% of placing a decreased defense debuff for five turns. Three turn cooldown when booked. Attacks all enemies damage increases if the target is under any of the CC fee and the of the CC debuffs. Guy sounds like a Yeah, he definitely sounds like an arena champion. Okay, very worth it. Man, this pull was, v these pulls are very worth it. All right. I was really, okay. I'm still happy, but I really want Valkyrie. Please, someone. I need Valkyrie. Come on, we can do it. Oh, are we getting another lightning strike here? Another lightning, come on. Lightning, 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 lightning! Yes! Booyah! Booyah! Booyah-ka-sha! Yes! Booyah! That is five legendary champions. Is that right? Or four? Four? I can't remember. It is raining Legos today, baby. Raining Legos. Harvest Jack. Uh, I've always wanted this guy. Yeah, I've always wanted this guy, and I do not know why. Do not know why. Uh, let's see. Attacks one enemy three times. So anytime you got a three hitter, that is a good thing. So could possibly go into my Fire Knight team. Ooh. Each hit has a 25%, uh, booked up a 30% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. Each hit also has a 35% chance when booked of placing a fear debuff for one turn if the target has no active buffs. Uh, this chance increases to 100% if all buffs were stolen from the target. Ooh, cool. Attacks all enemies, places a block, buffs. Debuff for two turns on targets under fear debuffs. I could have used this guy. I could have used this guy during Faction Wars. Hey uh, there. This guy will be massive for Faction Wars. Hey uh, there. I'm probably going to build him out right here just because. Uh, here, to make Faction Wars a little bit easier. Uh, there, but uh, just on the auto. But uh, yeah, now we're fine. Um, ooh, targets under fear. What? Ah, uh, man. Never mind. Uh, removes any increased attack buffs from the target, replaces them with a decreased attack debuff for two turns, removes any continuous heal time, and replaces them with poisons. Two turns. The number of poison debuffs is equal to the number of continuous heal buffs removed. Ooh, cool. Three turn cooldown. That's still not bad. I just wish it didn't have targets under fear unless he's got some kind of fear mechanic here which he does uh, attacks all enemies has a 100% chance when book replacing true fear debuff for one turn so that's good 
Yeah, that's good. It also place a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns and decreases each target's turn meter by 15% if the true debuff is placed. Uh, has a 100% chance on both to placing sleep debuff for one turn if the true fear is not placed. Nice. So he's CCing either way. And then he's getting a decrease def decrease speed. That's nice. That is nice. Okay, that's not that's not bad at all. When attacked, decreases the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn. Wow. Wow, he's like really good. Okay, he's gonna go into my yeah, he's gonna go into my lineup of people to build. Yeah, he's definitely going into the lineup. All right, four. All right, so the, the chat saying four uh, here. We've got to clear some space here. We got forty more until we get this bad boy here. All right, so let's clear some space. All right, so I do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna build some people out. I don't just wanna feed them right here. So let's build some of these guys out. Feed them and eat a bunch of people. Who to eat, who to eat. Oh, we got a lot of people we could eat. All right, so eat, eat, eat. Perfect. Next one up. All right, you know what? Uh, eat, eat. Doesn't really matter who I'm eating. Let's just eat everybody. We're eating everybody. We're getting all these guys to fours. Get some fives rolling. Get out of here as fast as possible. Man, I love that uh, we can do that fast thing now. It makes this part so much faster uh, here, without a doubt. Sacrificing everybody here. There's, there should be no buddy that I'm going to keep in terms of these rares. Now I do have to keep in mind, I do want to build out a rare team to go into that secret room, if at all possible. So I will do that at some point, but uh, it's not going to be today, that's for sure. All right, so I could have built out a five there, but um, I guess we'll do that in a hot second. We'll get all these threes fired up first. Now I'm doing guys that I know I can easily grab. And I don't want to do magic. Actually, I don't want to do uh, force because I'm really low on force uh, potions at the moment. I want to keep this guy. Let's get these guys out of here. Just want to make sure I don't have any. If I can get these four guys gone and, and done with. I don't want to see them here at all. Shit crap. Watch just in case. Get these guys going. All right, perfect. Uh, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we are rocking and rolling today, guys. I don't think I've ever... Uh, actually, no, I have. I've had one other time where I pulled four in one, uh, in one set. Yeah, I have. It's pretty exciting, I do have to say. On that end. Might as well. Let's see if we can get 
a another legendary. Hopefully Valkyrie. Come on, with all the legendaries I'm pulling, gotta get a Valkyrie, man. Come on, killing me here. Um, yeah, if we can get uh, if we can get a Valkyrie, I'll be very happy. It's like my begin to and end to get a Valkyrie, get a Crisk, and just really be rocking and rolling at that point. That's what I need, Valkyrie and Crisk. Uh, might as well back up this up to five now. So we got a bunch of these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. That's another five. We are rocking and rolling. We should book someone up to six star. We'll do that momentarily. Uh, let's see. Get another one of her. Get it going. Should be enough to pull the last couple, but might as well get all these here cleared up. Got to do it anyway. Just make sure I don't like take like a someone I actually need. All right, so that's done. think twice about eating. Okay. Um, could do a four piece now, but let's wait. And I do love that this is made that particular upgrade in the Tavern has made it so much easier to do this. What a quality of life upgrade. A great quality of life upgrade. Oh, no, 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 no. That one, there we go. All right, boom, 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 boom. Five star. Okay, how many do we got now? We got uh, three, six, nine, twelve right now. Wonder if we should get Farrakhan in the fat. Should we get uh, somebody else uh, fired up? I don't know. I guess we'll see here. Uh, yeah, we're okay doing magic champions. Definitely want to eat the Forest Champions first. Eat, eat, eat. Okay. Let's keep going. Waver and Bane. Hope I said that right. Keep going, let's go, let's go. Alright. Last couple here. We must never stop Alright, next up. Sanctum Protector. Got a cool look though. Got a cool look. Not super cool, it's just cool. We're not gonna go overboard with the praise there. Alright. Good, good. Uh, so one, two more. We'll get another five star. This is like the quickest way to do five stars. I did this same kind of uh, setup while I was uh, pulling mystery shards. 
and uh yeah man never got so many five star food built up so quickly in my life this alone makes like building up five stars really easy uh no that's not what i want to do uh next up not really gonna think twice about any of these guys that's good six star I might start building out so I gotta build out some hex champions I really do hex champions are needed on my account uh, who to build out who to build out uh, let's grab this guy hex champions are needed all right so we can eat these guys It's really tall. Oh, no. Uh, next up. Let's go through him. Star fired up. Trying to make sure I don't like. Oh man, up to position four now. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get another five star fired up. Two, three, four. There we go. All right, what do we got here? So that's fifteen, is it not? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, one more for fifteen. One more. All right. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, let's see if we can get this going. And we'll upgrade two people to six star. No clue who. Actually, I guess we're gonna save one for Archbishop. Uh, there. Maybe one of the other Legos that we have. I guess. I don't know. One for sure for Archbishop. Maybe one for the Fox Hunter? I don't know, actually. I always like to keep one in reserve. Yeah, there, just in case.
Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do another Grandmaster here. I wonder why they call him the Grandmaster and he's like a rare. That kind of doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that kind of doesn't make any sense there at all. Call him a Grandmaster. Uh, okay, three more left to go. Pig sticker fired up. here yeah uh, what do we got maybe one more yeah one two three four ish four ish okay yeah we can do probably uh, i guess if we eat these guys up yeah what do we got three we can do these three okay cool that's what we will do. That should give us our last, yeah, that should give us our last four. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll start with him. We're gonna start eating these chickens now. Look at these guys get a nice like meal instead of being cannibals. Should have a ridiculous amount of tournament points once this is done. Uh, here, this is probably how I'm going to be doing champion training, or a, a good chunk of it from now on. Uh, they're probably not going to be using like my energy anymore, but uh, I'll try still, just because every once in a while you do need that extra cash, right? Uh, there, it's so never a bad thing to run for cash. Let's do it. So that's, uh, yeah, that's 15 five stars that we have now. Actually, yeah. Oh, I should do Harvest Jack. Crap. I like his kit. I got a bunch of people, though, I can really build out. Might have, that might involve a little bit more thinking than I'm willing to do right now, to tell you the truth. Yeah, like Farrakhan would be good. Astralis would be good. Yeah, that's going to involve a little bit more thinking than I'm doing. Yeah, uh, here. All right, so we got one more that we can do. It's her, if I'm not mistaken. It is. All right. Let's do it. And then we'll get to the last of our shard pools. I think we got 40 left, if I'm not mistaken here, guys. Right. All right, so 40 left. And then we have a guaranteed champion. We've gotten four champions already uh, here. Can I remember who? Robar. Harvest Jack, Numar the Return, I think that's her name, and oh, can't remember the last one, can't remember the last one, what was the last one, uh, there, who was the last one there, Astrolith, how did I forget Astrolith, oh my goodness, that's terrible. Oh, well, it's what it is. All right, 
let's see if we can pull let's see if we can continue our fantastic run we've been having today and uh get some more lightning let's go lightning Ooh, rask is good i like rask rask is good Pull of Rask, you build him out. Unless you already have him built out, then, you know, it's what it is. Ooh, you are right. Tournament position two. Tournament position two. That's kind of cool. All right, come on. Ah, ultimate Gaelic. Uh, ooh, rear guard sergeant. Wow. First time I've gotten her. Let's take a look at the kit. Yeah, I've seen many videos on this uh, on this girl here, and uh, yeah, wow. Ooh, defense based. Yes, love me some defense based champions. Uh, here, attacks when enemy has a forty percent chance, uh, booked up to fifty percent chance of placing a sixty percent decrease defense. Ooh, that's an A one too. Cannot go wrong. You don't see that uh, on A1s too often. Attacks all enemies has a 50% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack debuff for two turns. Heals this champion by 25% of the damage inflicted. Ooh, also nice. She got decreased defense and decreased attack. Wow. I uh, booked up to 75% chance on a three turn cooldown. Yeah, if I was early game, I had her, she would be in my clan boss team for sure. Place is a 50% ally protection buff. And a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. Three turn cooldown. Ooh, also really nice. That is actually really good. Huh. She might actually end up in my two for one clan boss team. Yeah, ally protection with continuous heal is huge. That's a three turn cooldown too. So that's gonna stay up for two turns. Like both of the AOEs. Drop for the heavy hit. She is force affinity too. I guess I could switch her in and out. If I build her right, if I build her exactly, exactly the same as I built um, Taragi the Frog, then uh, yeah, I could kind of switch her out in my clan boss team. Whenever I have a negative affinity. All right, worth it. 100% worth it. We'll definitely, uh, yeah, definitely probably gonna give her a go. Probably gonna give her a go. All right, let's see if we can get some lightning. All right, and then uh, we will get lightning on the next run. Or the next go around, I should say. Jareg's a really good champion, guys. A really good champion. Uh, Right, right, let's see if we can get some, well, we're getting lightning. Let's see if we can get two lightning shots. No, we're only gonna get one, it looks like. All right, lightning. This is who we came for. Pinthroy, Pinthroy, Archbishop. Welcome to the team. He is getting the treatment. Yeah, he's getting the treatment. We actually just might. Should we build him on stream? Yeah, why not? Let's see if we, we've got enough uh, five stars. Yeah, we got enough five stars, so let's see. Uh, that's probably the worst thing to do, actually. Uh, let's see, where is he? There he is. So we're gonna give him the treatment. All right, so we could build, we could book him out if we wanted to, which is probably highly probable that we're gonna book him out. 
Uh, oh, yeah, good. I'm gonna send him, so that's good as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, we had some nice pulls. Uh, that is for sure. Man, I really like that guy's look. This is cool, too. All right, so at least we got three. Uh, let's mix some affinity potions here. Might as well do like five. It should be enough to get us to the five stars. Uh, fully ascended. Yes, it is. Welcome. I guess he's like the Pope or something like that. Is this something where we want to use an XP barrel? No. Fifty-two. Holy goodness! How much does it cost? Let's. See, yeah, I wonder how much it costs if we just do an XP barrel. Ah, uh, we could save that for the sixty. All right, let's do it. All right, so he's being ranked up. Uh, let's get these guys out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for coming. You are a six star. Booyah. Can we ascend him? We could. You know what we might do? Oh, it costs one million? What? Jeez, goodness. Uh, could go to the arcane keep and just run a little bit. Don't really need to mix. I mean, we could. Get a five piece. All right, yeah, screw it. Let's do it. All right, so we definitely need to run into the arcane keep and the spirit keep and get some more potions. Let's build him out. I doubt we have anything crazy. I'm going to build him with high HP, high speed, high defense, lots of resistance, and lots of accuracy as well. So he's already at 100 accuracy right out the gate and 80 resistance. All right, so that's good. So maybe put an accuracy banner on him if I have it. Could put a resistance banner. Ooh, defense banner and that has some speed on it. Too bad that wasn't resistance or accuracy. It doesn't look like we have any good banners, unfortunately, other than defensive banners. That kind of sucks. Uh, okay, well, you know what? We're gonna go to the filter. Fitting room, we're gonna do equipped as well, and we're gonna see what we have now. All right, so we're not taking it off of her, so that's that's a no-go. Uh, no. Ooh, possibility, yes. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, that's a high possibility. I don't really use him anywhere except the keep, or the crypt, I should say. So let's try that on. Or, you know what, we could always try, oh, no, that's not the one we need to upgrade. There was another one that had speed on it, was there not? Or there was none that had speed on it. Oh, I think it was a defensive one, wasn't it? Yeah, a defensive one. Would we really want to do a defensive banner on him? 16 speed is pretty nice though. Ah, this is the one here. So if we could roll like one or two into this, we would be very, very happy. Let's see. Set the frame rate to 10. Let's see if we can get a speed roll. Speed. Nope. Ah, absolute gutter. All right, so that's terrible. Let's put this on him. 
that actually is not too bad. So he's already at 200 accuracy or 196. So I don't need, we'll probably run another 100 accuracy, but let's really, we'll get it where we can, I guess, is uh, kind of what I'm trying to say. All right, let's see where we can get it. Uh, probably one in HP. Yeah, let's get an HP one or something that has a decent amount of accuracy on it. Uh, I don't really want a crit damage one though. Could do something like this one. I don't see. Yeah, so we don't. So this is one of those that I don't have really great. Accessories for. Uh, where would I want this to roll? I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably, I guess, resistance just to get that extra piece. But if it rolled in the accuracy, I wouldn't be disappointed. We are going to need to run some content just to get some cash back. Okay, so not disappointed. Let's see if we can get a si Ooh, if we can get 16. Ooh, come on. Crossing the fingers for 16 here. 14 is still really good. Get an attack, 125. 21 is good. 10 piece. 10 piece. Yes. All right, let's uh, let's upgrade this one piece at a time. I'm running low. Running low, running low, running low. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh, there we go. Ah, crit damage to the last stat. Okay, that's fine. All right, so not a bad piece. Uh, we'll put that on this gentleman right here. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, always good to, like, if you got to do some of this stuff anyway, you might as well do it what, during the off, uh, off periods. Ooh, should I put a defensive ring or a, it has attack, has HP, this has attack and defense. No HP percentage, so that kind of sucks. Man, that's a really good ring. Uh, no. Uh, I could put this one on. No. Not terrible. HP with HP percentage and defense percentage. I like that. Actually, don't mind this one here at all. If this rolls into defense, I'd be pretty happy. Let's see if we can get this to, tw uh, probably not gonna be able to get it to that. Let's see if we can get it to, nope, 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 dang it. All right, let's, uh, let's do this one then, I guess. Let's upgrade. Five piece, ah, oh, come on. One, one more try. Ah, goodness. 40. Okay. And eight, eight, eight. Oh, nice. That was nice. All right, so not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's uh, get that one on. All right, perfect. All right, so overall, not terrible just with what we have in the uh, accurate in the accessories uh, here we've uh, brought the defense up got the speed up and uh yeah we got the accuracy nice and beefy all right let's get some speed boots on this guy yeah, let's get the fps back to 60 here all right, so let's close all this. Filter, speed, boots. 
with and if I can get some accuracy and resistance great six star with resistance and I had a resistance as well and accuracy see if we have a reception boot but yeah might end up with one of the ones that we saw already uh, double crit damage not bad that's a bunch of fives Excited about any of those. All right, so not super excited about any of those. So let's go back and see if we can get resistance and accuracy. And a double resistance with defense, a little defense hit. And attack increased, a little bit of defense with accuracy as well. Uh, Oh, now it's my tablet uh, beeping in the background. Uh, they're probably... They're probably just getting emails. Most likely from people. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably do this one. It's got resistance, got accuracy. Until I can get like an ah, a perception boot or something like that. Yeah, until I can get a perception boot. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, enchant. Ooh. No, probably not. Let's do five. One more try. Ah. Ten. Not bad. Uh, 25, no. Yeah, seven piece at least. Hey, there we go. All right. Uh, not terrible, not terrible. Right, we're doing okay so far. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so primary is gonna be defense or HP. And secondary stats, uh, we don't have much to look at here, so we'll look at all of them. Uh, so double speed there, that is interesting. Uh, speed, HP, crit, uh, not great, but possibility to put this on. Speed with attack, mm, it's okay. Speed with HP. Uh, speed. Speed. Only a five star though. Okay, here, here we go. Accuracy, double hit. Attack, a little bit of HP. This is not terrible. This is not terrible. Let's try that on. And then we'll keep looking here. Uh, let's see. Really want something from here though. If we can do something here, then we're in good shape. Ah, uh, there's a defense. Lots of attack in there. HP with speed. That's not bad. Uh, very likely 
to go this route. Grab either this one or this one. This one wouldn't be bad if we could roll that into speed. Oh, I do not have enough to finish that roll, so we're not going to do that. Um, hmm. for now. Yeah, I might leave the HP for now. Let's see how it goes with the rest of this here. All right, so we want, uh, I guess, HP or defensive gloves again. Yeah, HP or defensive gloves. And we want speed in there for sure. If we can get accuracy and resistance. Ooh. Accuracy, resistance, a little bit of speed. Not enough speed, though. No, no not enough speed. So let's see here. Speed, defense, a little bit of accuracy. Let's see. Oh, let's just look at them all here. So could do defense with speed in here plus a speed roll we can get. Could go back to the speed piece here. Or if we find something up here that we can do in speed. That's a try on for sure. Uh, let's see, speed, HP, crit, no. Glove, but not for this guy. Uh, defense with speed. Regeneration set too. Ooh, eventually, what I'd like to get on him is a regeneration set. This is not bad piece at all. Put on. I do like the speed here. That could give us another, if I can get something with a speed roll up here, plus speed set, that could easily get us into the 200s. I think I might leave it as is. Yeah, let's see. Really depends, I guess. I'm not seeing anything crazy. Ooh, wow. 23 speed with 11 defense plus HP. That is not bad at all. That is a possibility. I'll keep that in mind. That's actually a really good piece. Uh, this one, HP defense, a little bit of speed, that has speed, uh, not super inclined, yeah, I'm not super inclined to do any of those, kind of like that speed glove. this piece here though. Defense would go up, speed would go up. I could cliff this. Four, 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 nice. I could cliff this and if I get another piece up here, you know what, we're gonna have to look for this. We're gonna have to look up here and see what we get. All right, let's do it. All right, so we need speed for sure. If we can get accuracy, that'd be great. Speed, accuracy, HP, plus an extra HP boost. That 
it's not terrible to go with the boot. This isn't terrible either. Neither of these is terrible. More speed here though. What about this? Uh, speed, no. Ooh, this is not bad. Speed plus HP plus accuracy and we can glyph. Ooh, if that could be eight. Ooh, if that could be eight, come on. Oh, even at five, that's really good. Oh, nice. Seven piece. Nice, okay. All right, so that's gonna go on. All right, so we're pretty much at 300. Ah, a little worry. We've left the resistance in the background, unfortunately. All right, so what do we got here? So we could do a speed. Could do. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Very probably. Let's go down here, here for a second. Look at. No. No. and accuracy here plus speed too no I don't think I changed the gloves out for that Ooh, this one's a this one's a heavy possibility plus we get the extra bonus on HP oh yeah so that's gonna be Ridiculous amount of HP plus speed plus attack. Ooh, very nice. Now we can glyph that. Oh, that worked out really nicely. No, nope, we're not going to do that. We can do that here. Five piece. No. Seven piece. There we go. All right, so we've left uh, resistance in the background there. Not super happy about that, but uh, yeah, not super happy about that. I think if I get resistance gear or something like that, maybe down the line, I don't know. Oh, not bad overall uh, here, and he's only on level one. He's already got 44,000. Decent defense to start off. Um, decent speed. A little bit worried on the resistance side here. Do wish he had some more resistance. Yeah, wonder. Yeah, I do wish he had some more resistance. That might be, he might be a prime candidate for a resistance piece. Like a resistance uh, main stat. Maybe. Well, that's what we got to work with right now. So let's do it. All right. So we are going to. Well, might as well run him right now. Oh, we are leading the tournament. Not by much, but we're leading it. Interesting. 
wonder if we might as well go up and get this bad boy. Yeah, might as well. Okay. All right, so we are going to Going to the arcane keep. I'm gonna probably run, probably run about 20 of these, but while we're in here, might as well get a showcase on uh, on our new guy here. Yeah, let's get a showcase on this bad boy. And uh, while we're here as well, we might as well take the opportunity to build up. Uh, build her up too. Um, that's hilarious. Faction grips. Okay, that should be fine. Ooh. Look at that. It's like a lightning or like light attack from the sky. Heal just like um, Reliquary Tender. Get shined on from heaven, I guess. That's kind of neat. Kind of neat how he like uh, like a fire and brimstone type of attack. I think that's his A1 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that fire and brimstone attack. It's interesting. I wish I had some more resistance on him. Um, you know what I'm probably gonna do with him? Probably gonna take him down the defensive tree. Get him an extra 50 resistance with unshakable. Instead of the attack tree, so probably resistance and accuracy tree or a defensive and accuracy tree or a support tree uh, for the heals. I like this cat. Oh, he put a, uh, forgot he has a 100% heal reduction too. That's kind of cool actually. I also forgot that he puts out increased defense. Uh, he actually might help me in my uh, my bid to get up the Doom Tower. Yeah, he might help me in my bid to get up the Doom Tower. I always play uh, stages like this just to test out these characters here. Like see how they are from you know level one as they go up. Obviously, plus uh, getting the the extra potions as well. This is fantastic. I really like the way his skills looks though. Like his skills look fantastic. Can't go wrong. All 
right. Rocking and rolling. Hits pretty decently too. Actually, I wonder what his uh, his multipliers are here. Let's take a look here. Archbishop. Archbishop. All right, so 4.7 of the attack on the A1. Okay. Uh, we've got 4.8 on the A2. That's impressive, actually. Okay. Yeah, that is not bad. Increase accuracy, heal reduction, and then block buffs. Yeah, that's gonna make life a lot easier. Right there, for sure. And then cleanses himself of some of the, the worst debuffs and decrease defense and weaken. That's a good way to go. Yeah, there for sure. Just looking at his skills, I really like his skills. But I like how he's geared, not yet. Uh, but now I'll be looking out for some, you know, high level resistance, or at least stuff that has some uh, multiple resistance rolls on it. If we can get him into the 250, 300 range in the resistance, we'd be really happy. Yeah, I think the easiest way to do that is to get some proper perception gear on him. So as I'm pulling perception gear, I'm, I'm gonna be looking, looking to to kit this guy out properly. Yeah, perception with resistance. That's really what I want. Resistance and speed, obviously. And defense percentage and accuracy. If you can get all three, all four, then we're really rocking and rolling. Or, or HP percentage. Don't really need the attack, but uh, if we get it, we get it. And I'm kind of wondering where he's gonna end up because uh, at level one, he was like 44,000 HP. So he could end up potentially, uh, my thought would be in the 60,000 range. Probably 50, 51, 52. Could be higher though. Can never tell. Plus, once I get the money to finish uh, getting his gear rolled up, that could be something big there too. Yeah, he's gonna kind of help me everywhere for sure. I'm interested to try him in Hydra. We will be doing Hydra today, so maybe we'll run him in Hydra 
Actually, we probably will try to run him in Hydra. We'll do a few more of these uh, there just to top up our arcane potions. And now we gotta put him through the ringer and uh, to get his masteries uh, rocking and rolling. Definitely got to get his masteries rocking and rolling here. That's what we need. Get as many of these as we can. Let this run a few more times and then we'll move on. Yeah, really what we need to get for him, we need to get his masteries uh, fired up. We're doing, uh, I'm trying to remember, Visix uh, there as well as, uh, what's his name? I uh, can't remember his name right here, but we're doing, we've got three people right now in the grinder here for masteries uh, we're almost done two of them so maybe we'll, we'll power or power finish off uh, the guy whose name I'm forgetting right now and then uh, we'll get Archbishop into the grinder uh, here because we are definitely not using 800 gems to get him fired up we're definitely not doing that So maybe run it, let it run maybe two more times. I don't feel good about where we are in terms of uh, the amount of potions. And then um, we got this guy. Yeah, we got this guy into a little bit of the grinder. Yeah, we got a little bit of the grinder going on him in masteries. We'll probably do that. And then, yeah, might as well try him in the Hydra this time around. It's going to be normal. I right hear my clan is not finished normal, but that's okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, we got to get that done before reset uh, anyway, so we can get uh, the one or two shards for Mithrala. Mithrala, I cannot wait to get Mithrala. It's going to be a Lydia type set up for me uh, here which is just going to be ridiculous everywhere uh, there's only a few of those champions who are kind of ridiculous everywhere everyone else is kind of like they're good they might be good everywhere but maybe not hit some places but there's just some that are good everywhere like uh, Lydia I, could l I literally use her in every single one of my teams every dungeon user in uh in uh, the doom tower hard and normal and there i have a feeling that archbishop is gonna go into that into that kind of level Yeah, I think he's going to go into that kind of level there. Really 
do wish I could get some more resistance on this guy. I wonder if I just put a resistance chest on him. We'll see once he's at 60. Maybe just put a resistance chest and call it a day. So that would get me into the 250s. Yeah, 250. I think I feel comfortable with him at 250 resistance. for my gear level, of course. If we had more, I'd be much better, but you know, obviously it is what it is. be the last one then we're gonna take them into minotaur just for a little bit i want to give him a few masteries before we try him in the hydra give him at least a couple masteries man but we had some good pulls today guys some really good pulls i'm uh very happy with the pulls. So not too bad. Uh, here we got a good set. Happy. That's all we need at the end of the day. All right. So at some point we got to get into Spider right here and get our cash stores back. Ooh. We are in dangerous territory here. Falling back into. minutes or so. Okay, that's fine. as we can. 
All right, so let's see. Uh, who can we bring in here to get this done fast? Ooh, the big boy himself. That makes sense. Yeah, I could do him. I could do. Yeah, let's do him actually. All right. second there yeah kind of interesting to see how these guys set up here Pretty decent job here. It's not fast by any means, but uh, it could be faster. If you really wanted it to be. I just like, I just like this guy. I gotta try him out everywhere, actually. You know what, we might as well take him through the gauntlet. Right here. Yeah, we'll take him through the gauntlet. Get him in dragon. Ooh, I wonder if he'd be good in fire night. Eh, well, fire night, uh, maybe. I don't think he's fast enough. He's got decent speed. I don't think he's fast enough overall, though. Uh, otherwise, yeah, no, I think he's fine. This is a quick and surefire way to power load your guy right here while also doing, giving him XP uh, here as well.
Now, normally I just put a whole bunch of uh, people in here and uh, just let it go for as long as I have uh, energy. Um, but yeah, if you want to power load, you can get everyone here who's full on their masteries and have one guy and all the scrolls go to him. stuff but I do want to get a few of his masteries done up right here before we go into the Hydra right here for sure that shouldn't take super long Never-ending grind, yeah, that's what it is. Never-ending grind, that's a, uh, ooh, fun times. Rockin' and rolling. Just keeping a keen eye on how he uses his skills, his priorities. I have to keep a keen eye when we do go into the individual, individual uh, battles, dragon and whatnot. Very un uh, yeah, very unlikely I'd use him in spider. Yeah, would I use him in spider? No, very unlikely. Probably could use him in spider, but I wouldn't probably do it. Yeah, I don't see a need to use him in spider. Right here with Crypt King and uh, someone just like the crazy champions that happen there right now, but you probably could use him in Spider and be fine. Now here he's got the increased defense, you know, the heal reduction, especially if Spider 20 would that would be nice. Go pretty fast on Spider 20 actually. Maybe we'll try him on Spider 20 with like a custom team. See how fast that goes actually if he can't uh, heal himself. Uh, if uh, the spider can't heal herself. That's actually a pretty good thought.
it's a pretty decent time. 45. Fastest time we've done 28. So it must have been all attack champions. I guess you could technically put two more attack champions in here. Uh, here. Uh, yeah, I guess you could technically do that. But yeah, surprisingly, only the second legendary Sacred Order champion I have. Maybe that's because the spider doesn't like giving me uh, good accessories. Probably why. Eventually I'll get some good accessories, so... I have no doubt at some point uh, we'll get some good accessories and be able to get these guys uh, fired up. some ninja man I really do Draco morph too I do like him but uh, I almost feel like ninja's better especially for bosses so they're like multiple explosion type technique. guys at now. Alright. He's rolling, he's rolling. We're getting closer.
Ooh. Now, I wonder who he's going to synergize with. I uh, hear. Trying to think of synergies. I'm just doing the research. Obviously, anyone who's a defensive base champion uh, here is going to work pretty nicely with the synergies. Um, hmm. I wonder who else he'd work with nicely. Yeah, he'd, pretty, he'd work pretty good in the clan boss team. Not clan boss, oh my goodness. Uh, my uh, Doom Tower team. Now, who would I take out is a question. I wonder if... I don't know actually who I would take out. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to figure out who to take out in that particular situation. So yeah, I don't really know who I'd take out. I guess you don't know until uh, you just give it a shot. There's all kinds of clam, uh, teams you can put together in the Doom Tower. Uh, that is for sure. Where, let's see where his stats are right now. So right now, uh, he is sitting at, uh, let's see. He's sitting at uh, 47, 745 at 15, level 15, uh, 14, 1448 attack, 1626 defense, still 211 speed, uh, 15 crit, 88 crit damage at 150 resistance, and then uh, two, sorry, 314 accuracy. Yeah, we'll get another 40 when we do, when we finish out the Great Hall. So he'll be at 190. Yeah, I think getting a... Yeah, getting a resistance chest on him might be the way to go. If I can't get resistance rolls. Or just getting perception gear that has resistance on it. Like resistance rolls with speed, defense percentage, and HP percentage. That would be good as well. It's probably the way we're going to end up uh, once we get some more perception gear. Yeah, that's the process. That's the thought process right now. gonna finish out the green scrolls and then uh yeah probably not go for the red just yet and see if we how he looks in the clan boss uh, hydra i should say that's gonna be an interesting team
Yeah, the head of mischief's a pain in, in this run. In this iteration of the Hydra. Steal the buffs. Exciting there. Uh, let's go. Yeah, so something went really well. I uh, hear for you guys who are showing up right now. Uh, we got uh, Archbishop uh, Pinroy, who we're building out right now. Uh, we got uh, New Weather Return for the Knights Revenant. Harvest Jack, which is, you know, really exciting. Uh, there, uh, Rebar. Uh, Arena Champion Extraordinaire, I think. And uh, Astrolith uh, here. So possibly my Bommel Champion. I uh, hear like the bomb will champion for me because uh, she does bombs that are irresistible uh, with a one turn cooldown, which is insane uh, there. So we're going to see how we build her out. That should be an interesting build. Yeah, that should be a really interesting build, actually, uh, there for her. I'm kind of excited uh, on that side of things uh, for her. Uh, besides that, uh, yeah, we're going to try to bring Archbishop here momentarily. Once we get his uh, roughly about 600 scrolls in the green uh, here, we will try to build him up to about, uh, my thought would be, bring him into all the, the dungeons, see how he rolls, and then try him in the Hydra here as well. I'm still iffy on if I'm going to take him down the attack tree. I don't really want to. But I just might. And I really want to get him some more resistance. Yeah, I really want to get him some more resistance. Really not sure how I'm gonna do that. To tell you the truth, just don't have the gear for him right now, at least. Uh, but we'll see, I guess. It's always more perception gear to be pulled, and that is for sure. Always more perception gear. Very excited there. All right, so we're 285. Still doing, uh, probably take another. That's gonna take a little bit. And I wonder if, actually, this is a question for you guys. Can Archbishop at 
level 18. You think you can get through level 25, Dragon? I guess it depends on the champions I bring them in with, actually. Uh, it's fully going to defend on the champions I bring in with, with him. I would be interested to see him try. Maybe even level 20-ish or so. Almost at 50,000 health here. Just tracking it with our RSL helper. Almost at 1,500 attack, too. some more resistance on him. The Great Hall is going to be the first one for sure. Yeah, what does he end up at? Let's see. I think it's like 11 or 1300 on the defense when he's fully 6 star. Fully 6, uh, level 60. Almost 1200 defense. Should give him about 3... Maybe 3,000, 2,600, something like that. Yeah, you'll probably end up about 3,000 once I get all my uh, my armor geared fully. Bishop in the spider. Well, at least as a speed team. I don't believe you can put that. I believe the spider is immune to heal reduction once you get past level 21. You could use them in level 20 you know, with the heal reduction. That would be pretty exciting there. I think we might do a custom team. We're gonna try a custom team, maybe uh, to get a few more of these things right here. Yeah, custom team, level 20. So like him, Crypt King, uh, Lydia for sure. So those three would be for sure. Who else would we put in there? misgraded monster uh, who would be last uh, there I guess he could put in uh, could put in cold heart I guess or you could just go straight for the HP burn strategy and do um, do what's his face uh, oh my goodness I guess we need someone to draw the ire, so I guess we do uh, Drekstar. Yeah, I guess we do Drekstar. Ooh, that's an interesting team. Yeah, let's try that. 
Okay, yeah, we'll try that. We will try that. I think that's a good team to put together. So let's just go through that again. Arch Bishop, Lydia, Rip King, Miscreated Monster, and Drekstar. Ooh, I think that's a killer team. HP Burn team for sure. Yeah, that's a pretty killer team. Very high accuracy too. Especially with the increased accuracy. Sounds like a good team. All right, I'm going to do that team for sure. Yeah, we're doing that. I'm actually kind of excited to do that now. Hurry up and get to 600. Finish this guy off. And the flip side of that is uh, we do in Spider. We get some money. Have opportunity at uh, getting uh, better gear on him. Viceroy. No, oh, Viceroy. Archbishop. Uh, there, so I'll have that opportunity. I almost feel like I should lower his accuracy a little bit. And like if I get a resistance piece. Yeah, if I get a resistance uh, banner with like a ton of speed on it, put that on him instead. He can increase his own resistance by 100%. Is it 50 or is it 100%? Yeah, now I'm forgetting. A 50% increase. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That's a really good amount. Yeah, 
wouldn't be disappointed. But I think really getting the more accuracy is going to be about getting the proper perception gear. So we're going to have to spend some time pulling perception gear. Yeah, we're going to have to spend some time pulling perception gear today, uh, most likely. That's going to be fun. And that's going to be really fun, actually. All right, so we're at 434 on the scrolls here. Green scrolls. Rocking and rolling. It's almost at 50,000 health, so it's moseying along here. faster. Would have been nice to have him in like a 240 range. Tell you the truth. Ah, he's above 50,000 health now. Yippee ki yay. Fifty-four away from completion on the green scrolls here. this kid again he steals one random buff 75 percent chance on the target so that's actually a pretty decent thing to do actually that's pretty decent Okay, let's see, uh, 487, we are getting there. We are getting there. Oh, absolutely using RSL Helper. You cannot, <laughs> you cannot play Raid at any high level 
and uh, not use our SL helper. That's uh, that is for sure. Uh, there, 100%. Yeah, kind of stumped with this uh, particular. Yeah, this particular Hydra. Wish I had. Wish I had built out some hex champions to tell you the truth. But I'm probably not gonna build out a hex champion until I get Mithrala to tell you. Just to be very honest. Probably not gonna happen until then. Five thirteen, we're getting there. put him what kind of dragon team would I put him in Let's see obviously Lydia probably bad Al as well might as well do ninja pretty much a team you see here I guess the last one there would be Under Priest Brogni, probably. And then Fire Knight. Ooh, Fire Knight would be an interesting one. The heal reduction's nice on Fire Knight. Um, if that's the case. the lead if I'm not mistaken no I don't I have I have currently actually 
Actually, I'd probably just do... Oh, I don't have Deacon as the lead. I have... What's her face as the lead? Oh, what's her face? Seeing her. She's a Knight Revenant. Fusion Champion. What's oh, annoying me right now that I can't remember her name? Oh, it's very much annoying me that I can't remember her name. Ah, Mother Cybel. So Mother Cybel. I got the uh, Control God and Goddess. I was drawing Countess Lix. I got Lydia and got. Uh, oh. Oh my goodness, why can't I remember her name right now? Locker A1. Ah, oh my goodness. Lock into her A1. I can't believe I can't remember what her name is right now. Rain is melting. Why? No, I just can't remember her name. But yeah, who would I put? Why would I put him even on a dragon team? Uh, on the Fire Knight team? What does he bring into the Fire Knight? I guess nothing really. Nothing really that I need. Yeah, I don't really, I wouldn't really need him for the Fire Knight with the teams that I have. But if I was going to put him in one, I guess I'd just take out Mother Saibo, put him right in. We would lose a speed uh, boost, though. Mother Saipo as her uh, aura. That'd be the only drawback there. Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty decent. Like, high accuracy, heal reduction, block buffs is nice. Does the heals, increase defense, plus shield. Pretty decent kit. I think it'll synergize pretty nicely with Under Priest Brockney, actually. Who doesn't synergize nicely with Under Priest Brockney now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, there's not much. Yeah, there's not much people who don't synergize with Under Priest Brockney. Oh man, I missed a cutoff. Alright, well, uh, I guess this is gonna be the last one. Then, this, then we're gonna try this uh, stage 20 spider team with Archbishop using uh, the heal reduction buff. Debuff. kind of exciting. All right. Back to the map. I might as well gain some money while we're at it. Now, pretty sure once we get past here, we can't put heal reduction on, so past here, I should say. All right, so do, 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 do. who are we taking out? So we can just straight take her out. We don't actually. We shouldn't actually have a problem in terms of dying here at all. Yeah, let's just straight take her out and see if this works. Just if we put him in like this. Yeah, he'll be negative affinity, so all of them will attack him. I'll put the HP burns, he'll put HP burns and freeze. Stun and shield. Increase defense, which will be good uh, over here. Plus increase accuracy, which is also good. 
uh, here as well. Increase speed. Yeah, this is a pretty nice team. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Heels out already? No, there isn't. So no block heels out. Let's see if we can get block heels out. Not yet, apparently. This might be one where you want to set it up to do block heel or heel reduction first. Yeah, heel reduction first would probably be the best way to go. Just not hit. See you new to heal reduction now. What? Ah, uh, since when can you not do heal reduction on level twenty? Oh. Well, that's messed. still usable. I'd say a level 25 with this particular team, probably not. But I do like the increased defense, actually. That he puts out. And the increased accuracy as well. Actually, what does the increased accuracy even look like? I guess we'll see it on set. It comes up here. Oh, there we go. Increased accuracy. Oh, cool. good thing about this here is that uh, he is not going to be hitting as much or as hard the, the ads here which should help quite a bit with taking this guy down a little quicker Really disappointed in that now that I'm thinking about it. It's like, ah, oh, man, what a pain. seem to take any less time to beat it. It's still a five or six minute proposition here. So yeah, can he get you through this? Absolutely. Uh, there, is he gonna be on your speed team? Probably not.
point, probably won't see any debuffs transferred because he's probably not going to get any. Heal reduction would have been great here. And I wonder where that starts coming into play. It's, I didn't think it was on stage 20. I love stage 21 plus. certainly do them there. Let's uh, try and fire and, and dragon here. A positive affinity and dragon. Okay, oh, that's an easy enough team. Already here. Uh, I don't see there being too much of an issue here. And I think if we had put anybody else in here, but you don't want any of like the normal champions you'd put, so yeah, it should be fine. She only resisted that because she's got like 10 debuffs on her already. They should increase that debuff uh, bar to like 20. Obviously, that would be insane uh, with the amount of debuffs. but you know, we're not taking much damage. It's kind of what you don't want to take. It's kind of locking them out, which is good. He's keeping everybody topped up, which is also good. But yeah, we've got, everyone's built pretty solid here, so Instead of healing them with his HP, um, he's healing them with their HP, which mostly are pretty high. Yeah, 55,000 on Lydia, 57 on Bad L, 53 on Mother Saibo, 51 on him, and uh, 47,000 on our man himself, our Rago. Let's 
see how this goes. So, black gloves. My hair reduction doesn't make any sense here, but okay. Should pretty easily be able to take off this uh, purple bar here. And remember, this is him with no no masteries right now. I guess if he didn't have like a Mother Saibo or Bad Al, you could put uh, Under Priest Brogni in here. It'd be pretty okay. Oh, he transferred that debuff. What? Nice. Transfer that on the A1 hit. Oh, that was sick. As soon as he gets it, he just rips it right off, throws it back on the boss. Really nice. Alright, that was actually pretty nice. I enjoyed that. Alright. Can, can we bring him into Ice Golem's Peak? Ooh, that is a hard proposition. Ice Golem's Peak's hard enough. You gotta get like the right balance of champions. Huh. Guess I could just straight put him in here. Increase defense, transfer debuffs. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. I almost feel like it would be a different team. Maybe we'd have to put them in here. Should we bring an Under Priest Brogney in here? For more damage mitigation? There'll be a ton of heals in here. Uh, heals, heals, heals from uh, Battle Kazar, Archbishop, and Silva Drakes. Uh, reflect damage with the HP burn. with the debuff. <laughs> really trying to think if we should bring someone else in here. Block bus gonna be nice. Um yeah block bus gonna be nice. defense and weakening comes off all the time and then healing should be able to keep everybody topped up and he has a shield hey you know what let's give it a shot I have a feeling this might be fine and he doesn't hit super hard so it's gonna it's, it's gonna slow it's gonna be more of a slow burn which is good now he might die from the hits, that's the only thing. Although they're not gonna be killing him fast. There's no one in here that really is gonna kill him fast at the ice golem. That's actually gonna work out for us really nice. That means a lot of reflect damage. Yeah, 
But yeah, the heals are ridiculous right now. Look how many heals are going off. Like almost every turn you're getting heals. I really like Bad L when he's fast. He's at 243 speed right now. Just realizing here that Archbishop, like, uh, he's got that staff. It's got like the power of the sun there. I wonder all those like moves like have like uh, fire or some kind of sun rays coming down on us, or the enemies, of course. You know what the good thing here with uh, Archbishop and the Geomancer together is uh, my particular Geomancer doesn't have like ridiculously high accuracy, but now he is going to have a good amount of accuracy with the uh, increased accuracy buff. Yeah, he's only at like 251 right now. I'm really starting to like Archbishop. I mean, I liked his kit before, but I'm really starting to like his kit. Especially with my champions who were uh, a little lower geared. I am really liking this guy's kit. It's fascinating. goes here. I like that it's going slow up top. Alright, so we got reflect damage now on the main boss. So when he takes his hit, Archbishop was able to top everybody up real quick. Alright, so we are going to get hit here. Nice. Denied revive, so that's good. Yeah, the next hit from him is going to take him down like a lot. For sure. Here is killing these ads really quickly without taking another hit. This is where it could go wrong. This is where someone who does like a perma damage would come in really nicely here. Yep, okay. That's where it went wrong. Right there, that this might be. Hmm. someone has a speed lead. Like instead of bad L, have a speed lead in here. There's also negative affinity here now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, someone like Mother Saibo is a speed lead. He's got the increase, the decrease accuracy, never mind. Oh, he has increased accuracy too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. Yeah, I think we're bringing her in because she gets uh, decreased speed. I don't have much accuracy on her though. Yeah, she's more resistance based. 
She wouldn't die in here, that's the one thing. I think I might try this one again when he's at 60. Right now, oh, pretty good run. Since he's uh, since the sacred order crypt is open and he is here, uh, should we do the final battle? Why is he? I guess he's in here because he's 60. Decrease his target's turn meter, decrease attack, decrease speed, increase defense, and revive on death. Uh, sure. So that's really handy. I'm okay. Let's, let's take a check. See how this goes. Yeah, Deacon to speed. Speed lead. Yeah, I'm not upset with this group at all. Right here. I think we'd be pretty happy on that end. Uh, for sure. with this uh, here at all I think we'd be I think we should be fine here I think we should be fine even with Archbishop at a low low level here now we do gotta watch out for unkillable Ooh, but got the block D buffs. I got the block buffs out. Look at that. That was nice. Yeah, that was nice. I do have to say. That was sick. That was actually really nice to see. Super excited about that. Dude, that was key. Just bringing in the black bus before the unkillable. That was fantastic. All right, let's see here. So, do these guys keep coming back? damage so we should be able to stop that from happening uh, let's see revise all dead allies okay so he's gonna revive dead allies every four turns and he has fear okay yeah this one might just be selecting the main boss and not even worrying with the ads here Let's go straight for the main boss. Yeah, definitely not the team that I originally beat this with. So that had Aethel and uh, Fanax in there. Uh, but yeah, we replaced those two with Archbishop. And Godseeker and Eerie finally have a uh, reviver in the uh, Sacred Order. This is really hard to do without a reviver. But we got it done. 
But yeah, no, no buffs. A heal reduction. It's kind of key, actually, for this particular battle. Uh, if you're going to leave the ads up. And then he's healing like the like the healing is just insane. Like him healing on his uh, on his attack ability. Yeah, that's where it's at. Right there is where he gets the extra healing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's where the huge difference makes. It makes a huge difference when you can do a massive heal like that. On everybody, not just on a one person. I guess that's why they call him the Archbishop. All right, very, very happy with that uh, that performance at level twenty-five. All right, so. Astrolith here. Let's see if we can do secret room. Forest champions only. Defensive forest champions only. Oh my goodness. How specific. Rear guard would be really good here. Uh, so leader. Oh, this actually might not be too bad. Rear guard would be good here. I think we got everything we need, though. a heavy hit. We should put my mind towards making uh oh what's that guy's name? and scar hide which should really build him properly give him some more accuracy and more health so he doesn't die so easily off that girl in the back who's got like one tick left
Uh, it's probably not gonna go well. this by himself probably not in the hard doom tower not with the way he's built right now yeah okay that's what i thought okay well that is what it is let's go to normal an interesting team here. We're getting the free stuff uh, here from completing the levels, uh, each uh, floor, so energy and whatnot. We can't go around there. this here kind of thinking of where I could put Archbishop in here this team is pretty nicely tuned in terms of synergies and I guess I could put him in instead of uh, the Ice Master himself Torment the Cold I'll give him a gander in there There's no harm. Yeah, I guess there is no harm in that. some of our new champions here that we got during our summons uh, today. Oh, really 
excited about Astrolith actually in Harvest Jack. He said, no, nah, there he is. Even Visix would be pretty good here. Couldn't really tell if you made a difference there. I don't really know if he did or not. It's hard to tell until you get up a little higher. It is nice now though that you have two guys who can do increased defense. That is kind of nice. But then he can still do a shield, which is also really cool. That's kind of exciting. as a uh, in those specialty situations where you need that heal reduction and block bus is pretty nice too yeah, he's got a, a lot of utility actually
I think it comes in handy where you're gonna have lots of buffs going out. Anyone who does, like, uh, anyone where there's a healer. And he's gonna do real well in those situations. This is, uh, yeah, we're having a fun time here. Some OG champions here. Uh, Drakstar is free. Uh, so the Drakes is free. Lady is free. Uh, there, so all champions you can get. Uh, there, Archbishop, if you have 150 shards to pull, like I did earlier today. Uh, you can get him as well. And then Iron Brago is a fusion. So yeah, that's a tough one. Tough one to get uh, on the Iron Brago side uh, there, unfortunately. But yeah, if you can get him, he is rocking and rolling. Uh, why did I bring this guy in here? If Vice Roy makes sense here, the Crypt King should make sense here, though. Yeah, no, too much to worry about. Transferring Divas. Ooh, could he? Transfer a bomb. That's interesting. Increase accuracy, reduction. I uh, probably don't want to use this move at all. Probably would not use him in this particular battle. Uh, probably doesn't make sense to use him in that battle. I guess a chance to freeze is always nice. There's nothing wrong with that. i 
Alright, well, yeah, I got that done. Ooh, that looks pretty nice there. Let's see, room number one. Ah, this is where the rare champions come in. Uh, do I have enough rare champions to get this done? Yes, I do. Yeah, we got, um, so we pulled earlier, we got a ridiculous amount of legendaries. I had a good day. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, no more of the return. Asteroid. Rollbar. Harvest Jack, which I'm really excited about. There and then obviously Archbishop. But now, uh, now we gotta go into uh, you know, rebuilding phase with the Ancients. So might not be ready to pull uh, here for the next champion event, uh, the next summon rush event uh, with whoever is going to be the next uh, champion that we get for free. But uh, yeah, that is what it is. All right. Mischiefs in here, so I'm not super stoked right now at the head of mischief being in this setup. Uh, let's see, I really, now I'm really wishing I had got one of my champions rocking and rolling here. Uh, what the hell, might as well bring him in. there though. That's a problem. Hmm. I wonder if we should bring in Drekstar here. Yeah, Drekstar might be better. Alright, let's give it a try. Going for Head of Blight. Yep. Head of Blight is the main mischief. Mischief is going to be a pain in the butt. But we got the block bus on him. Look at this guy. 
Oh my goodness, that chest. No. I probably need a manual of this, but yeah, I'd want the black buffs in there. I can stop him in his tracks. out here and the head of mist just a pain in the butt man I really gotta say I think a setup like this we need more HP burn we don't want taking him is this one but if we can kill the head of mischief and get someone else to come out that makes life way easier there we go man with the buffs man hot dang it This is really what's killing us right now. Having an under priest Brogdy in here might not be the best idea. Hover over the uh, pause button here. Whoa. No. Regroup. All right. That did not go well. All right. So. Oh, it's rare that I say this. I don't like Under Priest Broadly in this setup. Okay, then. Let's go, Ninja. Let's get some burns going. Ooh, I wonder if he's going to be able to transfer some of those. Nice, transferred the leech. Good work. Ah, oh, block. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. 
that was annoying. And mischief is just really annoying. Really gotta focus on hex champions. Well, we don't get to do the debuff party, so that's unfortunate. So he would be good. Uh, we gotta get him to 60. We gotta get him. Gotta get him fully, fully uh, kitted here. Yeah, we need to get these things up to 16 for sure. And we gotta get his mastery set. All right. So I really want to get to Unshakable. Resistance on him would be nice. Yeah, I think boom into these two. Boom, boom, boom. Here is where we end up. Does he put any of these? No, he doesn't put any of those. Start with the resistance. Hit the healing. Ooh, now we hit here. Do we want to get to here? Yeah, we do want to get here. We also want to get this too. when he's transferring bus, right? Hmm. Uh, we could do this way. So boom, 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 boom. We're not going to do anything on this end down here. Here, 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 there, or still. What D bus does he do? extend okay so we probably want to do that we definitely want to do that so ah that's an interesting one do we do one two one two two one two two and then forego blast proof and then just go down here so we know for sure we're getting these out of the way here uh, it's whether we're gonna do two here or we're gonna do two here uh, my thought right now is I don't really need this but I do want arcane celerity and then 
make them both funnel into this one. And uh, we can get Maxter Hexer. And if we can get Lasting Gifts, that'd be great as well. And we'd have to do Cycle of Magic at that point. Or we could do Merciful Aid. Yeah, we could do that. All right, so start with max HP or do more accuracy. Yeah, we have to do more accuracy. All right, so yeah, we're going to go this way then. Into arcane celerity, heals into rapid response. We're going to do more steel for sure. It gives us a little extra speed. And I'm thinking merciful aid instead of cycle of magic. And merciful aid, boom, and boom. All right, let's do that. All right, I think he's rocking and rolling a little bit better now. So let's get seven, maybe. Yeah. Get some more speed. Four piece. Uh, I would have liked the four piece there. Four piece there would have been nice. Could get some more speed here. And HP. And attack. And defense for that matter. So let's see if we can get some defense. a little bit unlikely nice four piece two piece 25 yeah that's a little tough there let's try that one more time there we go with the HP percentage or something like that. That would have been very effective. This is also pretty effective here as well. The HP percentage here would have been nice. And the crit rate slot. 
All right, so overall not terrible if we go the resistance route. But I think we'd wanna have HP percentage on there if we did that. Yeah, we definitely wanna have HP percentage on there. All right, well, something to keep in mind there as we search for pieces. All right, so, ooh, actually, or should we? I guess we're gonna try this again, but we're not gonna put Archbishop in here. I'd love to, but we gotta build him out. I think we need more HP burn. So we want to put this gentleman in. She might be a good way to go. Two HP burners. Let's see if this works. It's gonna be very much about the HP burns here. Archbishop is going to be really good in here, though. Goodness, we're moving the buff so quickly. Goodness gracious.
Yeah, this is annoying. annoying okay very annoying Heels might be decent here. It's hard. I don't even have like my damage mitigators to like shoot that damage back at him. Like under Priest Brogni or uh, Geomancer. Because they're just gonna get eaten alive by the by the head of uh, decay and head of mission. This is a really hard run. I think this team might have what it takes. Let's see. I hope. I'm really hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping beyond hope, because, uh, yeah, I don't really want to do this three times. And get to that 7 million mark, and, uh, yeah, just let it run its course. Ooh, ah, man, he was able to steal buffs. Hot dang. Let's steal those buffs. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I'm glad the continuous heals didn't uh, get transferred. Heal reduction on Iron Brago. Oh no. It's terrible. Come on, where's the HP burns? Oh jeez. This could be a one 
hit. Taking a chance here, leaving this up. Could get one hit slaughtered here. Oh, at least I didn't get one hit slaughtered. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. Booyah. Right, let's get off of this guy. Ah, oh, no. Head of mischief. Ah, oh, no, no, no. It's the worst possible situation. And he's got faster. Ah, come on. Oh, for heaven's sakes. At least put an HP burn on this guy. This is absolutely just horrendous right now. Ah, uh, goodness gracious. How are these guys blocking debuffs? I don't understand that. Jeez, goodness. Not the head of mischief, please. Heaven's sakes. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to hope. Hold on here. Five something million. Should we do it? We'd need about a million and a bit. Yeah, you know what? I think we're okay. It could be okay to get a million and a bit with another team. Stand Hydra. Hydra's a pain in the butt. Alright, we're just going straight damage. See if we can get the two million. Call it a day. Two million, baby. Let's go.
this is annoying. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get this done. Look at a million, I think it's a million three, but let's say million four to be safe. Let's do it. Jeez, goodness. Man, this is terrible right now. Halfway there right now, though. Jeez, goodness. This is going terribly. All right, come on. All right, 50,000 more and we're there. We are there. All right, we got uh, maximum chest. <laughs> Holy goodness. We're gonna let this run to the end. Uh, here and then we will be done wow wow so unnecessary yeah this is by far the hardest iteration of the bosses thus far all right, so we should be at our 6.6, 6.99. We only need 6.6. .6. We are good to go. Done the Hydra and thank you. Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, what are we at? Four hours? Four hours of fun at times. Just some grinding, just utter and painful at some points grinding, but uh, we got five. We got five, I repeat guys, we got five legendaries today. So very, very happy there. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see you again next time guys. Until then, grind, grind, and grind some more. Because you guys are the best of the best. Love you all, we'll see you next time. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll finish with this battle here. Ooh, man, Cadrophone, man. What a beast. Cadrophone, what a beast. Dude, who does, who does this guy? Oh my goodness, jeez, goodness. Well, we'll end it with a loss then. All right, guys. See you guys uh, there next time. Let's chat then.